Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the Rome Open has just started with matches already being completed in the first round, but we have some big names that are pulled out late in both the men and the women's draw. So let's go have a look at the withdrawals, starting with the WTA for this event. So we've got some big names not playing in this one. The French Open champion, Krejcikova, she's pulled out, still recovering from injury. Kvitova, she's also out. Mertens is out. Svetolina is out. Von Drusova is also out. And Naomi Osaka, she has pulled out due to a left ankle injury. So she was supposed to play Tormo in the first round. She is not playing. And we've only got two weeks until the French Open. So an ankle injury can be pretty serious. And Towson has also pulled out with a back injury. Having a look at the men's draw now and the players that have withdrawn from that, starting with Carlos Alcarez. He's pulled out, not because he's injured, but just to maintain some sort of fitness and recover from that crazy week he had last week. So he's pulled out. Batista Agu has also pulled out. Berrettini, Fritz, Medvedev, and Gael Monfils has also pulled out. So some big names pulling out of this one. And the biggest being Alcaraz, who's probably the best player of the year so far, or at least in the last few weeks, he's been the best player. So there you have it, the players that are not playing in Rome. And it's an updated list. Of course, we did the draw preview a couple of days ago, and there were some names missing that are in there now with, from the withdrawers, which we've got no Osaka, no Alcaraz, massive names there uh, pulling out at the last minute. Let me know down in the comments below, who are you going to miss the most from that list of withdrawals and for the tournament? Because we had Alcaraz playing. I think everyone wants to watch Alcaraz at every single moment that he, can, uh, he plays. Unfortunately, we're not going to get that. Uh, we're not going to see a bunch of those players until the French Open now, because next week we have a couple of tournaments, smaller level tournaments, but most of those guys won't be playing, and most of those ladies won't be playing. Most of the players we won't be seeing until the French Open, but let me know down in the comments below who are you going to miss the most from that list.